one in year four and this is your literacy video for if you've got this booklet or this booklet on Monday the 1st of February. So we're going to start with two very big well done's. The first one is to Alan for a great description of how Barry hurt himself. I really enjoyed reading that. And the second one is to Lewis, a fantastic effort at home. Keep it up. And let's see who I can congratulate next time. Now we always start our literacy lesson by looking at some high frequency words. And this week I've got six brand new words for you. And they all begin with the letter B. So, the words are hidden in my word search. I want you to look really carefully for six words that begin with B. And you'll notice here that next to them I've written how many letters each word has. So we've got a four letter, a four letter and a four letter word. So we've got three four letter words that begin with B, a seven letter word, a six letter word and a five letter word. So I want you to look really carefully at my word search to see what the words you can find. You might want to pause the video so you can have a real good look. Okay, well done for having a go. Let's see what words we can spot together. So let's get my highlighter. So I'm looking for words that begin with B. So I'm going to go all the way across till I find a B. Okay, I found one. B, A, K. And how many letters does the word back have? It's got four, hasn't it? It's going to be one of my four letter words. So B, A, Brilliant. Let's have another loop then. So again, I'm searching for another B now. Let's keep going. Oh, I've got nothing coming from this B. Oh, I found another one. And for this one, I'm going to chunk it to help me to read it. So, B. Gan. B gan. Let's figure out how many letters. One, two, three, four, five. So that's my five letter word. B, gan. Okay, next one then. So we've got four more to go. Let's keep looking for our Bs. No, I've got nothing coming from that one. Let's try this one. Oh, I found one. Oh, and we all know this word really well. It's a conjunction because. And a conjunction is a joining word, isn't it? Let's count how many letters it's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that one's going to go here. Because. Okay. Almost there, year four. Well done if you found these words at home. Another one, b, e, n, bean. And it's not bean like a baked bean, it's bean as if you've been somewhere. Okay, and that's a four letter word, so b, e, n. Next one, b, four. And one left then, year four. Now this one's a little bit tricky because it's b, e, b, but we don't say it as beer, we say it as b, air, bear, and that's like a grizzly bear. Or a panda bear. Okay. And these are the six words that we're going to be focusing on this week. Cool. 
So we're going to start first of all with this booklet. And if you've got this booklet, your learning question says, can I add the appropriate noun to sentences? Now, last week we looked at nouns and verbs and we learned that verbs were doing words. So, walking, talking, waving. They're things that we can do. Can anybody remember what a noun is? Okay, so there are some clues behind me. So, I've got a picture of Mrs Beckett. I've got a picture of Mia and I've got a piece of sand and rock. So what do we think a noun is? A n -n noun is a n -n name, brilliant. And I've also told you that it's a person. So here we've got Mrs Beckett, our person. Let's write that down. So a noun is a person, a place like Mia, or a thing or an object like our piece of sand and rock. Okay, so now we know what a noun is, let's see what our activity is for today. So, you've got a picture and on the picture there are some children that are doing different activities and to me it looks like they're at the park because I can see someone called Sam on a slide. I can see a girl called Kate, Kate playing on the swing. We've got Ben over here riding his bike and Jess at the bottom looks like she's having a bit of a giggle to herself and you've got to read the sentence and decide who is completing that activity so we've got to add the appropriate or the correct noun okay so someone is playing on the slide slide so have a look at my picture who is playing on the slide have you spotted him fantastic and it's sam here so we're going to write sam on that line but then i also want you to circle the noun so remember nouns are people places or objects so who's the person so that's sam okay and what's the thing or the object that he's playing on he's playing on the slide isn't he so that is the other noun okay so each sentence will have two let's have a go at another one so, someone is having fun on the swing. So, who is having fun on the swing? Okay, so it's Kate. So, let's write Kate there. brilliant and let's circle our nouns then so who's the person and what's the object so Kate is the person and the swing is the object okay so if I get your book we're going to be turning to page 17 and let's have a little look at it under the visualiser. So, you've got a picture 
just like I had on the board. And on the picture there are lots of children that are doing different things. So I can see here that Patrick is having a chill on the grass. Okay, I can see that Sally is crawling on the grass, laughing at some animals. They look a little bit like guinea pigs. Okay, so you've got to look at that picture. And then at the bottom, you've got some sentences where you've got to add the appropriate noun. So you've got to think, someone is wearing a hat. So you're going to look really carefully at that picture and look for a hat on somebody's head who's wearing a hat. And I can see that Patrick is wearing a hat. So on the line, I'm going to write Patrick. And then I'm going to circle my nouns, my people places or objects. So the person is Patrick and he is wearing a hat and a hat is an object. It's something that we can put on our head. Okay, so you've got five sentences to complete but you know I like to set you an extra challenge as well. So once you've done your sentences and you've circled your nouns, You're going to have a go at extending your sentences. And by extend, I mean make them bigger and better. So you might add some adjectives or some describing words. Okay, so you might describe the colour of Patrick's hat. Or you might have some conjunctions, which are our joining words. Okay, so Patrick is wearing a blue hat because blue is his favourite colour. Okay, if we think back to my picture and about Kate who is having fun on the swing, I'm going to show you how you can extend it. So Kate is having fun on the swing, let's make that even better. So, Kate is having fun on the so I'm going to now add an adjective and describe the swing. So let's look back at my picture. Oh, the swing looks like it's made out of metal. So I'm going to put metal in my sentence. So Kate is having fun on the metal swing. Now I'm going to add a conjunction and she doesn't want to So I've added a conjunction and I've added an adjective. Kate is having fun on the metal swing and she doesn't want to get off. So using your sentences, I want to see you extending them by adding an adjective and a conjunction. Okay? 
So let's move on to this booklet now then. So your learning question says, can I use retrieval skills to answer questions? And your text today is called On the Farm. And a farm is an area of land that's looked after by farmers. And farmers grow different plants and food for us to eat. And they also have animals. Lots of farmers have cows where we get milk from and chickens where we get eggs from. Okay. So before we have a look at the text, I've picked out some of the key words that I think we might struggle with. Okay, so, no exception, no exception. And that means that it isn't left out. So it's part of it. Cabbage, with a J sound, is a green vegetable and I've got a picture of a cabbage so you can see there it is okay so that's a green vegetable that grows in the ground next one overalls overalls are work clothes it's something you put over your clothes so that you don't get dirty okay ripe ripe and that means that they're ready to eat so you'll see here that I've got a picture of some bananas the yellow ones at the top are bananas that are ripe and ready to eat and the green ones at the bottom are not ripe yet okay so what I want you to do now is you're going to open your booklet on to page 18 and we're going to do something a little bit different first of all so, I want you to have a read of your text and your first challenge is to colour the picture so that it matches the description. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so you've got a picture at the bottom and you've got some text at the top and the sentences that I've highlighted are describing what someone is wearing. Okay, so we're going to colour in the picture to match the description. Andy is wearing black boots and blue overalls. So I'm going to start by looking for a person that's wearing overalls and I can see one here. And now I'm going to colour in his overalls to match the description. So black boots, blue overalls. So I've got a black pen, so I'm going to colour his boots in with. Okay, and I need a blue pen to colour in his overalls. So I've read the description and I've coloured the people in to match the description and that's your first job. So I'll zoom in on the text so you can see it really clearly when you're at home. You might want to pause the video so that you can see those sentences and colour in your picture to match. Okay, well done then year four. So, Let's have a little think then about our learning question and the kind of questions we're going to have to answer. So our questions today are retrieval questions, which means we're focusing on this reading dog, Rex Retriever, who goes into the text and pulls out the information. So once you've read it, you've coloured in your picture, now we're going to have a look at the questions, okay? So the first one is a little bit different than the other questions that we've answered so far because it's set in a table. Put a tick in each row to show which child 
is wearing which item of clothing? So down here we've got some items of clothing and we've got to decide who is wearing that. So, red boots. I'm going to skim through my text looking for anywhere that says about red boots. Red boots, okay, I spotted it. Rachel has got red boots. So I'm then going to put a tick next to Rachel. So red boots go across to Rachel. Okay, the next item of clothing then is blue overall. So let's go back to our text. Let's look for the words blue overalls. Spotted it and who is wearing it? It's Andy. So next to Andy, we're going to put blue overalls, Andy. Let's tick there. And I want you to now finish the rest of that table. Okay. Question number two. What is Andy going to do next? And next means, so think about what he's already done, what's going to happen after that? Okay, so look for the sentence about Andy. And what is he going to do next? Question number three. Why do you think Josh is putting the strawberries into the bowl carefully. So think about strawberries. They're a type of fruit, aren't they? They're normally red. What would happen if you aren't careful with strawberries? Have a little think. What could happen? Okay. Question number four. Again, a Rex Retriever question. What is Susan doing? So we're going to look for anything about Susan. Susan is wearing purple overalls with a green pocket. She is feeding the animals. So what is Susan doing? Why are Susan and Andy wearing overalls? So let's have another little look at what an overall is and think about what we spoke about at the start of our video. What do they do? You could even rewind the video to find out. And then why has Rachel brought a basket? So for that one, you need to think about what job is Rachel doing? And why would she need a basket? Okay. So once you've done those questions year four, I've set you a challenge. And your challenge is to make a list of all of the nouns that have been used on the farm. So nouns, remember, are people, places or things. Let's end our lesson with a little reflection, thinking about what's gone well today or what we could have done even better. Let's roll our dice. Okay, what number will we land on? Number two, what were you most pleased with? So what are you really proud of that you've done today. Don't forget to take a picture and send it to the year four email address.